my private flying grounds. Got the hat cam on. Sunset's happening. Might be a little bit early this time. And the moon is not up yet.
Hey. You're gonna have to go somewhere else. We got a gas leak right here. Oh yeah? Yeah. We got a hit line here. Behind me? Yes, sir. I'll move down this way. Yeah, you gotta move away to the gas. We don't want anything to happen here. Alright. That's nice. Thank you. So what's happening here? Just plugging up for a while? Uh, I have no idea. They, these uh, gentlemen hit the line, so they called me out here. Oh, you're with the gas company? Yes. Yeah, so gotcha. Is that at the other end? Uh, not too far from where the, the mound is. Ah. Uh, so that's why you got to go down here. All right. I can do that. Yeah, we all know the condition. Uh, here, uh, uh, what is this camera uh, that you got there? It's a hat cam. Smile. Wave at the camera. There's oh, one on the plane, too. Oh, you can see that off of me. Yeah. Is that something that's normal with that, or, or you just modified oh, no. it? Oh, yeah. That's all custom stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's pretty neat. For, um, the intention is, first person view, to fly by camera, and right now I'm testing out this rig okay. for uh, that purpose. Long yeah. range. You, you have, you, like a predator. A lot like that, <laughs> exactly. UAV, unmanned. Yeah, that's pretty, I got all the good. Now what is, uh, with that, what, what's this plane, uh, model plane uh, cost, roughly? Well, it's completely you scratch, what you do. it's completely scratch built. Um, you're probably looking at a thousand dollars everything, and that would be a safe number. Okay, okay. Trying to get sunset. What what is the distance uh, that you could without losing the contact? Well, when they sell this radio to you for control, they they state line of sight, meaning you can see it and then you can okay. control it. Okay. But they're known to go out to about two kilometers flying by video, like a feed. You must be pretty good at uh, doing this for a while. A few years. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to come around and land. If you want to step off yeah. the curb and then I'll, yeah, I'll see that. Yeah, yeah. we'll get a landing in here. That one's seventy nine and a half. So they hit a line. <laughs> Imagine that. So up on top is the pilot's eyes. I look down, I can look to the left, look to the right. So I fly by that once this once the gear is set up right. Now what kind of fuel does this thing have? It's electric. It's all electric. Yeah, it uses a uh, lipo batteries. Yeah, it's it is. It's a nice yeah, they've come a long way actually, I should wow. say that. I've never seen nothing like that. I mean, other than, you know, the magazine. Pretty... Yeah. That's wonderful. Mm. Yeah, there's a sort of an entry level uh, radio with the pro level features on it kept simple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, some of the same features are available on, on the radios that have a big display down here. It's a lot more sophisticated, but you're paying, you know, at least twice. Mm -hmm. Uh, twice the money, so yeah. I'm very happy with it. Been in it for hey, a number you. of years. <laughs> yeah, that's, there's something new all the time, but that's, yeah, that's wow. I mean, engine's pretty dang old power. Yeah. You have fun with it. Okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> pretty big wings coming in. And, uh, the, uh, just move back and forth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a real plane. Yeah, we got flaps there for uh, basically increasing lift on slow flight. Okay, okay. It's 
to slow you down and then raise them back up once you're going uh, cruise. I've done um, I've done several birds scratch built, and this is kind of like the culmination of all the good stuff. Thank you. Still in the rough yet? I don't I don't put the finishing touches on it until it's done, <laughs> proven. Uh, Lord knows I've crashed several. But I love it. It's yeah, a lot of fun. Like I said, it's, uh, you know, seeing up in the air, it's so smooth, but I didn't realize how big it is until it gets, wow. You know? Yeah, it's, it's one of the bigger ones. Uh, yeah, that's nice. All right, thank you. Take care, man. Okay. Hope you guys get that squared away all right. I hope so. I'd like to go home. I can't leave until they call the crew out to dig that up. Thank you. Right on. <laughs> <coughs>
Okay. Basically a full 12, 13 minutes there flight. Definitely a little early on the sunset. Really super clear, real pretty. Definitely out of battery. So there's a gas leak up here, huh? Alright, signing off the uh, nose cam. Thanks for watching. Another gorgeous sunset, sunny Southern California. Level when the hills get the red orange hue to them, real pretty against the sky. Don't see the moon yet. Must be coming up later. For a while there, uh, several days in a row, the moon was up uh, around 440, 450. Got, uh, got a couple of flights there with, actually one flight with um, plane in view. Most of you probably saw that already. Thought that was a little, a little rare. Usually don't see the moon out that early, and then to be able to uh, catch sunset and moonrise in the same video. But it's definitely not up yet over the hills. That's right there. Would be about where it would be. Unless it's, unless I'm mistaken, and it's earlier than what I was expecting, but I don't see it. So, telephone poles kind of spoil the the view, the view there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. West out.